Hello everybody, Adam Stern here on behalf of the Seattle Philharmonic. It's great to be back with our beloved videographer Cal Lewin presenting the first in this season's podcast to tell you about our concerts. Uh, our first concert is a very shameless tip of the hat to Halloween. Uh, our concert takes place on October 29th, two days before the big day. And to celebrate, we're going to be presenting seven very different works that uh, take up about well, almost three centuries of music, and all of them have a Halloween connection in some way or other, as I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, so I'm going to tell you about these pieces in roughly chronological order. To begin with, uh, we're going to present a new version of the Devil's Trill Sonata by Giuseppe Tartini, an Italian composer of the Baroque period, who apparently wrote this piece in a feverish haste after he woke up from a nightmare in which the devil himself appeared at the foot of his bed playing the violin. And Tartini apparently wrote down as much of what he could remember of the music that he composed in his dream. Uh, we're going to be presenting this piece in a new version for violin and orchestra. Our soloist is our wonderful concertmaster, Luke Fitzpatrick. Jumping ahead a little bit, we're going to present uh, three works from the 19th century. We're going to be starting the concert with an overture by a fascinating composer named Louise Bertin. Uh, she was French. She traveled in all the right artistic circles. She was a friend of Berlioz. She was apparently the only composer for whom Victor Hugo adapted one of his novels as an opera libretto. And uh, she wrote an opera called The Werewolf, Le Loup Garou. And we're going to be starting out our concert with the overture to that opera. Then we're going to be closing the concert with another French composer, Jacques Offenbach. It's probably the best known work on the program. If I say Overture to Orpheus in the Underworld, some of you might know what I'm talking about. But if I say Can Can, now you know what I'm talking about. That's going to end our concert on a very festive note indeed. Uh, about midway through the program, we're going to be having music by Edmond Dede, uh, another fascinating historical figure. Uh, he was uh, of Creole extraction, he was black, he was born in Louisiana, but because of the prejudices that he uh, kept encountering in America, he went to France and made the bulk of his career there, where he was welcomed, he was lionized, he was a very busy composer and conductor and virtuoso violinist, became very good friends with, among others, the great opera composer Charles Gounod, and we're going to be presenting a polka that he wrote called Mephisto Masque, Masked Mephisto. Then, uh, jumping ahead uh, to the 20th century, we're going to have music by two more giants, uh, the great English composer Rafe Vaughan Williams, uh, who wrote several operas, although we tend not to think of him as, a, uh, as an opera composer. We tend to think of him more in terms of his symphonies, his symphonic poems, his choral works. Well, this is an opera he wrote called The Poisoned Kiss. Uh, it's loosely based on a short story by Nathaniel Hawthorne, uh, although he took a more comical view of the story in order to make a, an almost Gilbert and Sullivan-esque uh, musical comedy slash operetta. And uh, it's about a sorcerer who has raised his daughter on poisons. And uh, so when she decides to set her sights on a man with her mouth full of poisons, well, you can see some of the potential for comic uh, plot development in there, I think, I hope. And then we're going to have music by Bernard Herrmann, a composer that we've visited with many times in the past at the Philharmonic. Uh, this is going to be a suite from what he regarded as the finest of all his film scores, certainly was his favorite, The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, one of the most beautiful romances ever put on screen. Uh, it's a film, I must admit, I've seen it probably 25, 30 times in my life, and I've sobbed my eyes out every time I get to the last five minutes. If you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor and watch this beautiful thing. Rex Harrison, Gene Tierney, George Sanders, wonderful film. And finally, uh, work from the 21st century uh, by my friend Nicole Buetti, wonderful composer, also a great bassoonist. And uh, this is a piece that she wrote called Odyssey. It's an overture for orchestra, which is a salute to her father, uh, with whom she shared a profound love of science fiction, and she said that they would sit around a lot watching Star Trek and other things on television, and uh, you can hear the science fiction element, but like all good pieces of music, it stands entirely on its own as a very listenable concert piece. So that's it. I hope that you will be there. Uh, please come to our concert, Benaroya Hall, October 29th, 2 o'clock p.m., 
please join us. All of us.